I, I saw you say recently that you're going to knock them out in less than 60, and I, and I find that that proclamation in particular to be very interesting because that would be less than obviously the first fight. Do you feel pressure to do something even more spectacular than the first fight? Do you need to finish him quicker than the first time around? You know, it's certainly, it's certainly a different bout when you face a man twice, right? It should be. It should be a more difficult bout to face a man a second time. So in that scenario, I must do it better. And I'm going to aim to do it better. And I'm, I'm highly confident the shots I will need to land will be, will, be, will be hit home inside that first 60 second mark. If Dustin can withstand them, um, more power to him. I know he's hoping it's a war and a dragged out war back and forth. I am actually excited about that also. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be against that. I'd actually, I'd actually love that. I would actually relish a war. Uh, with Dustin, so if he can if he can withstand the shots and get a pop, and let's get it going, let's stand in there and let's fight. So I I just foresee I just foresee my shots landing early, and that's it. You would prefer a war over a sixty second fight? Uh, yeah, I probably would. To be honest, I probably would. You know, I. It's yeah, I would. I want to get. I want to compete. I need to. I want to rack up my, my rack up the clock. You know, get 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 some time in there. Um, what's a war to him and what's a war to me are two different things. You know, it's if he can last, he can last. But it's it's not. You know, it's it's going to be a smooth one for me to be honest. Ariel, you know, I know I know Dustin's a good a good fighter, but I'm the double greatest. It it has been the greatest camp, the greatest weight. Uh, transition I've ever I've ever endured you know and it's not even enduring I'm just I'm embracing it my frame is is light I'm a I'm a true lightweight frame now I'm zippy I'm fast I'm powerful you know I've maintained I have not only maintained strength I've actually gone up in, in strength and power uh, the weight is on point as it's ever been and I'm very excited you know heart once you're fully committed things are easy it's that simple hard things become easy when you commit yourself fully, and that's what I've done. So I'm very excited to get in and showcase myself at 155 pounds, fully focused. And you went out there and kind of made a pretty bold prediction. You said you think you can get it done in 60 seconds. Uh, you know, I know you have a lot of respect for him, but I wonder, I mean, that puts a lot of pressure on you, right? I mean, you, you went in the second round or you had your decision, maybe it was a letdown. So any regrets in making that uh, prediction? Do you stand by it? You know, well, I got him out of there in 90 seconds the first time. So, I mean, I'm not that far off. But, you know, I just, that's a complete confidence in my preparation and in my abilities. I know Dustin's a hell of a competitor. He's, I know there's questions here. He's heavier. He's up on a, he's up on a different weight. Um, but he's more experienced. I feel I can do it. However, you know, there are question marks regarding conditioning and things like that. I know his team has been spouting about the conditioning and that. I have put in a lot of work to get myself correctly to the 155 pound frame. I got 40 seconds inside the octagon in 2020, which caused major frustration in my, you know, I, I, it's not enough, I need more. So I'm gonna go in there and I believe I, believe I can get him out there and possibly will hit him early and hurt him. But you know, I, 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 I hope for, for a, a, good long, uh, a good long bout. Six plus years ago, yourself, Dustin Poirier, totally different circumstances from now both of you guys were on the ascent you guys were on the rise everybody was saying conor mcgregor is going to be the next big thing and everybody who faced you was tasked with trying to derail that train nobody was really able to do that you became a two division champion but now both of you guys are so established we've seen what you've done in the last four years i think dustin poirier has had the toughest schedule of any mixed martial artist how do you think that changes the circumstances at least inside the cage for this particular fight um you know, it's he's had some uh, tough fights that can that can go to uh, one or two ways. You know, pros, it's you know you've got experience in there. Cons, it can take it can damage the body. You know, I know he's been through surgery, had hip surgery recently, and you know, I'm confident going in. I think his skill set's pretty similar. I don't think it's any different to be honest. You know, he's uh, all his reactions, all his shots, all his movements are very similar. He's been he's just had more octagon time. You mentioned, octagon, far, you mentioned octagon time. They say there's no substitute for in-cage experience, but in the last two years, he's only seen 40 seconds of you in the cage. Is that a disadvantage for him because of all the things you've added to your arsenal? Uh, yeah, for, for sure. You know, I'm coming in. I feel, I'm, I feel in amazing shape. I am in amazing shape. You know, my skill set, I, I, 
I've grown so much in so many areas of fighting. And I'm just eager to get the show. You know, like you said, it was a turmoil of a 2020. I didn't get I didn't get my competition, which I wanted. You know, I want to I want to put my put my work to, to the test. You know, I want to put it out there for the world to see. I want to entertain the fans, my die, my die hands, my hardcore fans that are supporting me through thick and thin. You know, I want to go down back to 155, cut weight over to Christmas. This is all for my fans and for the people, you know, to entertain them. And I'm eager to get in, showcase all my work. And, you know, Dustin does not know what he's in for. That's for damn sure. Although, I think he does know what he's in for, to be honest. I mean, we fought before, but, he, you know, he, it's even more ferocious this time. That's for damn sure. You're all about the psychology of this sport. How hard would it be for someone to block out what happened in that first fight if you're Dustin Poirier? I see him reacting a lot. I see him hesitant. I see him I see him in a rush, in a panic. Pretty much the same way I saw him the last time. You know, that's going to be in his head for sure. But it was in his head beforehand. You know, then it became reality. So now it's going to be in his head before this one, but it's also a reality. So it's a double, it's a double whammy. You know what I mean? And now he's facing the double, the double champ. So, you know, I'm going to go in and, 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 and put my work on him and get him out of there in spectacular fashion. I know you're going to say they're all easy matchups, but if you look at the top of the lightweight division, if you were to rank them from hardest to easiest of the people that you're faced, tasked with facing in the division, if you look at uh, Justin Gaethje, you look at Dan Hooker, Michael Chandler, Tony Ferguson, your opponent this weekend, uh, Dustin Poirier, Khabib, how would you rank them from the hardest matchup for you to the easiest? I tell you what, this is going to be an easy rematch for me this Sunday. But it won't be my easiest rematch. When I get that rematch against Habib, it will be an easy rematch. And I guarantee this. If he wants to continue running, that's no problem. I'll eliminate the rest of them. Besides him who, who ran, it is Dustin. He's knocked out Justin. He's beaten Dan Hooker. And, you know, Chandler, I don't know really, you know, he's come from the other, a, a lower league. And, you know, he hasn't been testing the UFC, so we'll see. But, um... And then Justin has beaten Tony, so you know I, I would say it's I would say Dustin is right up there. You know that's that's why I'm excited with it, and that's why you know you're going to see the levels and the difference in levels between myself and the top of the division. You know I am just in space. I am not from here. You know that's that's where I am at. I am from a different planet with my skill set, and I look forward to showcasing it this Sunday morning in Abu Dhabi. And finally, we've heard the prediction. Let's test the overall mysticism of Mystic, Mystic Mac, of the notorious Conor McGregor. You said under 60 seconds for Dustin Poirier, but when you visualize that fight, and I know you visualize everything in the world, not just the fight game, but in, in terms of business, in terms of materializing anything and manifesting anything, what is the strike that most often puts Dustin Poirier away in your mind? Oh, there's, a, there's an array. There's an array of shots. And, you know, it'll be, it'll be all coming at him ferociously fast with power and precision and patience and composure so it's it's going to be it's going to be a master class what shot it is it could be you know i've got so many shots in my book i could write a trilogy you know so tune in and see in this ufc career which would be you does it have to end in spectacular fashion there you go, Stephen. It's all I know. It's all I do is put people out, and I'm going to do so again on Saturday night. Mark my words. Yo, Itchy. Is that how you going on, yeah?
My leg is completely dead. 